Question number one. So this function here represents the height in meters of the diver from the water surface in a swimming pool t seconds after he dives from the diving board. So I have a simple diagram here. This is the diving board and this is the diver. So as the diver jump into the water, so this green curve here represents the trajectory of the diver jump into the water. So I can look at this one in the form of quadratic graph. So this part here, this axis here, represent the height of the diver from the surface of water. And the surface of water here, this axis, represent the time in seconds. So at the starting point here, the height is 0 and the time is 0. So A, find the height emitter of the diving board from the water surface. So here the question asking you to find this part, the height. So at this point, the diver haven't jumped yet. Therefore, the time is equal to 0. So for A, to find the height, we're going to input the t equal to 0. So the t here all will be input with 0. So solve this, you want to have the answer of 4 meters. Question B. Find the times in second the diver achieved at the maximum height. So let's say this point here is the maximum height. So this is the same as the maximum points. So you're going to have the coordinate x and y. So in this case, your coordinate x is the t. And your coordinate y will be the ht. So as we know, the axis of symmetry is going to pass through the maximum points or the minimum points. Therefore, to find the time of the diver achieved the maximum height, so we can find it by using the negative b over 2a, which is the formula to find the axis of symmetry. So here the b is the positive x and the a is negative 5. So solve this, you're going to get the answer of 0 0.8 seconds. Or you can find the times the diver achieved at the maximum height by changing the functions given into the vertex form. So we're going to let the a equal to positive 1, so we're going to have a common factor of negative 5. So the other two, we're going to divide it by negative 5. So next, we want to do completing the square. So here, we're going to add in a number so that this part will become the area of a square. So we're going to take the b, divide it by 2. You're going to get negative 4 over 5 and square it. And minus the number that we add in. And don't forget, we still have minus 4 over 5 at the back there. So now for this part, we can factorize it. So it's going to be t minus 4 over 5 squared. So solve for this part, you're going to get negative 36 over 25. So now we're going to expand this. So you're going to get negative 5 bracket t minus 4 over 5 squared plus 36 over 5. So, the t is equal to 4 over 5, which is the same as 0 0.8 seconds. Question C. Find the maximum height in meters the diver achieved. So, from the vertex form here, this positive 36 over 5 is the maximum value. Therefore, the maximum height is equal to 36 over 5 meters. So this is the same as 7.2 meters. Or you can also find the maximum height by inputting the 0 0.8 seconds into the functions given. As 0 0.8 seconds is the time 
which the diver achieve the maximum height. So the time 0 0.8. So we're going to insert it into the functions given. Solve this and you're going to get the answer of 7.2 meter as well. Question D. Find the times in seconds when the diver is in the air. So this green curve here is, is where the diver is in the air. So it starts from 0 seconds until the diver reaches the surface of the water. So here to find the times at this point, so this is the same as you are finding the root. So for questions D, to find the root, we're going to let the height equal to 0. So HT is equal to 0. So this is negative 5T squared plus 8T plus 4 equal to 0. So I'm going to let the A here equal to positive. So I'm going to divide each term here with negative 1. So here, you're going to do the factorization and you're going to get 5t plus 2. Another bracket is t minus 2. So here, 5t plus 2 equal to 0 or t minus 2 equal to 0. So t is equal to negative 2 over 5 or t is equal to 2. So here, we're going to reject the answer of t equal to negative 2 over 5 as the times cannot be in negative forms. So here, the time is 2 seconds. So the times in seconds when the diver is in the air, so the time is in between greater than 0 seconds but less than 2 seconds. Question number 2. A turner at a certain part of a highway is in the shape of parabola. The height in meters of the curve of the parabola is given by these functions, where x is the width of the turner in meters. So question A, determine the maximum height in meters of the turner. So this part here is the parabola. And this is the width of the turner, which is the x. So these points here is the maximum height, which is the same as the maximum points. So to find the height of the turner, we're going to input the width. So as we're going up here, the width is decreasing. So at the maximum height, the width of the turner, which is the x, is equal to 0. So to find the maximum height, we're going to input the x equal to 0 into the functions. So solve this, you're going to have the answer of 15 meters. Question B. Find the width in meters of the turner. So the straight lines that I draw here, which pass through the maximum height here, so this is the axis of symmetry. Now, if you look at the functions given here, you don't have the value of b. The b is equal to 0. Therefore, the axis of symmetry is the y-axis. In this case, is the h of x. In other words, to say the value of x for the axis of symmetry here is equal to 0. So now to find the width of the turner, we need to know the value of these two points, which is the same as the root. Therefore, for questions B, to find the root, we're going to let the function h of x equal to 0. So 15 minus 0 0.06 x squared equal to 0. So I got to move this to the right hand side. So 15 is equal to 0 0.06 x squared. So x squared is equal to 15 divided by 0 0.06. So x is equal to plus minus 
square root of 15 divided by 0 0.06. Solve this, you want to get the answer of 15 points at 1 or negative 15 points at 1. So which means here is negative 15 point at 1 and this is 15 points at 1. So the distance from here to the axis of symmetry is 15 points at 1. So the distance from this axis of symmetry to this point is also 15 points at 1. Therefore, to find the width of the tunnel, we're going to multiply this 15 points at 1 by 2, which is the same as 31.62 meters. Question number 3. The diagram on the right shows the cross-sections of a parabolic satellite whose function is represented by f of x equal to 1 over 4 x squared, where x and y are measured in meters. Finds the width and the depth of the parabola in meters. So, this is the width of the parabola and from the coordinates given so here is going to be negative 2 this is 2 which means this is 2 meters and from here to this point it will be another 2 meters therefore the width of the tunnel is going to be 2 plus 2 which is 4 meters. Now for the depth, this will be the depth of the parabola. So the coordinate y here is equal to 1 and here is 0. Therefore, the depth of the parabola is equal to 1 meters. Question number 4. The diagram on the right shows a suspension bridge. So the functions of the cable between two pillars and the bridge is represented by these functions where x and y are measured in meters. The minimum points of the cable is on the rod surface at the middle of the two pillars. So here is going to be the minimum points. So A, what is the distance between the minimum points and each pillar? And B, what is the height of the rods above the water level? So we can solve the questions A and B here by finding the coordinates of the minimum points. To do that, we're going to change the functions given here into the vertex form. So first, we're going to let the A equal to positive 1. So here we're going to have a common factor of 1 over 400. So here will be x squared minus 400x plus 60,000. So next, we're going to solve this by using completing the square method. So here, we're going to add in a number, which is the b, negative 400 divided by 2, which is negative 200. And I'm going to square it and then minus with exactly the numbers that we add in plus 60,000. So this part here, which is the area of the square, so we can factorize it. So it's going to be x minus 200 squared. So this part, solve this, you're going to get positive 20,000. Next, we're going to expand this. So you're going to get 1 over 400 x minus 200 square plus 50. Now, from the vertex from here, we know that the coordinate x is 200 and the coordinate y is 50. So here is 200 and here is going to be 50. 
So for questions A, the distance between the minimum points and each pillar is going to be 200. And B, the height of the rod above the water level is going to be 50 meters.